Welcome back everyone. So last time we discussed Gordon's family tree, talking about his relationships to Flying Scotsman and his other brothers. And in that video, I mentioned about doing another family tree on Rebecca. So today, we are going to be doing just that. We are going to be looking at the locos designed by Oliver Bullied that made it into the TV series, and seeing the weird connections that Rebecca, Neville, Dennis, and Norman all have. This is going to be a weird one, as the Bullied family tree extends across many different eras of Thomas, leading to very weird paradoxes with the engines, such as Neville being a to Rebecca or Dennis having a brother who shouldn't exist or how Merlin somehow factors into all of this. Yeah, this is going to be a weird one, but all in good fun obviously. So with all that out of the way, let's begin. The Bullied Bullied now, the first appearance of one of Oliver Bullied's locos in the TV series was in Series 9. In fact, Series 9 had quite a few of his locos. The first was Neville, a member of the Q1 class of engines. And for a hit era locomotive, I must say, Neville actually has quite an accurate basis. In Neville's first appearance, Thomas sees Neville chatting with the other diesels, Ari and Bert, and soon all the other engines start making up rumours about Neville being friends with the diesels, when in reality, the diesels were actually bullying him. I find it so funny that the plot of Neville first episode is all about him being bullied, since he's a bullied class of engine. I want to believe that that pun was intentional, but I think it was more likely that they just picked the Q1s as a basis because they wanted a diesel-shaped steam engine, which would also explain why he's painted black and not some multicolored engine. But still, nevertheless, I find it funny that Neville is a bullied bullied who was bullied for being a diesel-shaped bullied. <laughs> So, this is Neville on the Bullied family tree, and this is where Oliver Bullied is. And since sons inherit their father's names, that would make him Neville Bullied. Weirdly enough, Neville wasn't the only Bullied in Series 9. We also got Dennis, a one-of-kind experimental BR-11001 class designed by Oliver Bullied. This experimental engine proved to be unsuccessful and was scrapped in 1959, only 10 years after it was built. In the TV series, Dennis actually shares the number 11001 with his basis, implying that he is in fact the same engine. It's possible that Dennis's lazy character was inspired by this basis, which I actually find quite interesting. So that would place Dennis here on the family tree, as a distant cousin to Neville, making his full name Dennis Bullied. Now, in the TV series, Dennis and Neville were obviously never identified as cousins or anything, but if we're going by the logic of Gordon's family tree, since they're both designed by Oliver bullied, that would technically make them cousins. Although, oddly enough, the TV show did confirm one relationship with Dennis, and it's quite a weird one. The Bullied Brothers so if you've seen my every rejected CGI character video, you'll know that Dennis was originally planned to make an appearance in Day of the Diesels, but he was later replaced with Norman. It's unclear how far into production this change was, but it must have been pretty far since they had already made a CGI model of Dennis, but then the hit team changed their minds last minute, aka wanted more toys, and I think it was confirmed in some magazine or fact file that they were brothers, making Norman Bullied a twin to Dennis and a cousin of Neville. This is weird for a few reasons. Firstly, most of Dennis his Sodor history actually made sense. You know, in real life, he was this failed experiment that was scrapped in 1959, but then in the Thomas universe, you could presume that he came to Sodor in the canon around that same time, explaining why he was lazy and why he breaks down. Like, that all checks out. But then Norman comes in like a wrench in the works. Like, somehow he had this brother who didn't exist in real life. I mean, you could argue that Norman is the CGI equivalent of Dennis, but that doesn't really work either since it was confirmed that they're both brothers. Okay, well, you could argue it's like Enterprising Engine 93's series, where you've got tree diesels instead. But again, that doesn't really work either, since Dennis shares the same number with his basis. But I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, since Norman is such a non-character in the series. But that's kind of a shame too. The Brenner era team really did wonders with Paxton and Sydney, and it's a real shame that they never did anything with Norman, other than that crash from the Great Race. <laughs> It's a real shame they didn't do anything with Norman in the CGI series, but that's a video for another day. However, there was one bully that the Brenner era team liked to focus on. The Banana Bullied. I think I'm in the minority when I say that I actually quite like Rebecca. I really like a lot of the stuff that they're going for with her, having a very positive, optimistic attitude compared to Gordon. Although I think the real reason I actually like Rebecca is because she is a Battle of Britain class, as I had always wanted to see a thomas -fied version of the Battle of Britain class in the CGI series. I 100% think that if Rebecca had been introduced in series 21, fans wouldn't nearly as hate her as much, but I digress. So Rebecca would go here on the family tree as a cousin to the other 
diesels and Neville. So yeah, that's pretty much the main players of the Bullied Family Tree in the Thomas series. However, there is still one Bullied who appeared in the show and is technically a brother to Rebecca, but I guarantee none of you will have spotted him. Now, I'm sure all of you are familiar with Winston Churchill, the former Prime Minister in the UK. Uh, Winston Churchill actually had a Bullied loco named after him. And interestingly enough, in Series 9, we often saw this poster in the background advertising for the Battle of Britain class. And it was in this poster that Winston Churchill, the locomotive, was seen. It was seen in the background of the Series 9 episode, Mighty Mac, and then in another Series 9 episode, Thomas and Birthday Picnic. Man, what was this with Series 9 and Oliver Bullied's class of locomotives? Like, not only did we get a Q1 in the form of Neville, but we also got Bullied's rare experimental diesel loco, and we got a Battle of Britain class in the background. Something tells me someone on the Series 9 crew liked Battle of Britain classes. So Winston Churchill Bullied would go here on the family tree, right next to Rebecca as his brother. Now, I know this is a bit of a technicality, but hey, Hey, he is technically a canon bullied in the series, so what do you want me to do? Not put him there? <laughs> it almost makes me wish we'd gotten a Battle of Britain class in the model series. Like, could you imagine if instead of some other random Series 9 character, we'd gotten a West Country class? Hell, imagine if Molly was a bullied. Oh no! Oh no! So yeah, that's pretty much all the canon bullied engines in the Thomas series. However, there is one final loco Oliver Bullied had a hand in designing, and it's one you won't expect. All's well that man sells. Merlin is not a bullied locomotive. Rather, he is a King Arthur class design, designed by Richard Mansell, which would put him here as Merlin Mansell, and I must say, it has a very nice ring to it. However, Oliver Bully did have a hand in Merlin's design. Merlin was based on a wartime experiment, being fitted with these three stovepipe chimneys to make his smoke disperse and hide him from overhead bombers, and this experiment was done by, yep, you guessed it, Oliver Bullied. Unlike real life, I guess in the Thomas canon, Oliver Bullied was also responsible for Merlin's funnels and his silver chrome paint. Now in real life, Merlin's basis was scrapped, but we can all presume that in the Thomas canon, instead of being withdrawn, he actually survived and made it into working service. So despite Merlin Mansell not being a Bullied engine, most of Merlin's characterization in the TV series, ironically enough, came from Oliver Bullied's experiment. So even though he's basically a Mansell, he is somewhat connected to the Bullied family tree. Again, this gets into a very grey area about how the engines relate to each other, because engines quite often swap parts with other engines, and they begin to feel more like Frankenstein monsters rather than actual characters. In fact, Frankensteining is actually quite a good way of putting it, now that I think about it. He's your cousin, Johnny Stein. I don't have no cousin. No, no, you do. He's your sixth cousin, three times removed. On your right arm side. You have a cousin? So, in a weird way, Merlin is a part of the Bullied family tree. Huh, I guess Dennis and Norman aren't the only experimental engines in their family. <laughs> now, interestingly, Merlin doesn't actually have any locos in the TV series that he's related to. However, Richard Mansell also designed the basis for the express coaches, meaning that, technically speaking, he's somehow a cousin to the express coaches? Is this, is this allowed? Can we do this? I mean, the express coaches were built by Merlin Mansell, so I guess Merlin is is technically related to the express coaches, but it's not just the express coaches he's related to. He's also related to the mail trucks as well, as the mail trucks were also designed by Richard Mansell, meaning that the express coaches that Rebecca pulled are somehow a relation of her, and Merlin is somehow a cousin to the mail trucks that Percy pulls. This is very weird, but hey, they're based on rolling stock designed by Merlin Mansell, so I guess it counts. So yeah, that was the Bullied Family Tree, one of the most confusing and weird and non-canon family trees in the Thomas series. So, what can we really take away from this video? Well, I will say this. While none of the characters have ever met or really have anything in common, it's just funny to me how they're all technically connected. Like, Rebecca has no idea that her father technically caused this weird experiment that she's seeing at the docks. Despite them all being from different eras, be it the Hish era, or the Nitrogen era, or the Big World Adventures era, it's cool to think that they all have this weird connection. Despite Dennis being exclusively model series and Norman being exclusively CGI series, they are still technically brothers. Although I will say this, if there's one thing that connects all of the main bullies in the Thomas series, it's the fact that they all keep on crashing. Neville crashes, Dennis crashes, Norman crashes, Rebecca crashes. I guess you could say the show really bullied them. 
<laughs> Get it? Uh, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Slána